and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing Sim Escape version 1. Ooh, train. I've never done this before, never seen the tactics, never anything. So, let's see how this is. I'm going in as a paladin. I'm 330 geared as time of recording this video. So, Mifri, we've located the correct data. Your opponent appears to be a train. Here it comes. Okay, so they brought in Subplex from Final Fantasy VI, I guess. For those of you who have ever played Final Fantasy VI, you will know that the train sequence also had these ghosts on it. They have to fight your way through. And what is subplexing is basically um, if you played a certain character in VI, I won't say who, you did have the option to um, subplex, which is kind of like a combo. And when you faced the train, you could actually pick up the train and, like, effectively body slam it so it's interesting that they've brought all of that into this game so this is 100 comp percent completely from final fantasy 6 uh, as main tank i don't know if i'm just is this all i'm supposed to be doing just staying within range of the train and that's it as I said, I haven't done this before. But we'll see. So, like, does the off-tank have a much harder job? But it is cool that they brought this from Final Fantasy VI. And here's a question for you guys in chat. Will we ever see Sephiroth in Final Fantasy XIV? Will they ever actually bring him in? Oh, he is hard. I'm a sentinel. Ow. Oh, crap. I'm entering the passenger car. My DPS rotation. This is kind of bad because um, it might take me a while to kill this thing. I mean, it won't be a threat to me, it's just my DPS is not that high as a paladin. Turning to the freight car. Yeah, let's do it. Shield off. Okay, so 
everyone goes this way. So, basically, this train, in terms of Final Fantasy VI lore, is the Phantom Train, which is used to deliver the dead, basically, to the next life. At least that's what it was like in Final Fantasy VI. And during the story of Final Fantasy VI, it's quite early on into VI, so it's not a major spoiler or anything. Um, you find yourself on this train and you have to, like, fight your way all the way to the front and avoid those ghosts. Now, ironically, some of the ghosts were actually friendly. So some of the ghosts were vendors, some of the ghosts were whatever. Oh, crap. So were we actually supposed to all be caught by the ghosts? Well, now we know. You need to be caught by the ghost there. Okay. Well, now we know. Here's the phantom train. Now, I don't know what these two ghosts are about. If we're saving them for later or if they're actually helping us or not. Well, like I said, it is really cool to see this in the game. It's awesome. Okay, let's accept res. I've got shield off up. Okay. I'm assuming that they were not not supposed to be caught that time, I suppose. So we know so after jumping on the train and being flung back, you have to be all be caught by a ghost. So we learned that much this run. Okay, so those ghosts disappear. Let's assume that this is a wipe. But it's fine. I'll, I'll keep it in the recording. Because it's, I think it's a good way to learn the fight. But remember guys, this is just normal mode, not savage. And as um, silly as it sounds, given that we've already got it down to 40 percent and we're barely even trying um it makes me wonder well i can understand why people have played savage already rip interesting <laughs> We're waiting for the one here. It's a shame we don't have limit break free because if we did, they could have rest us all. I think he got caught again. Oh well. Now, you would have thought there would be some sort of auto-wipe mechanic. Oh, screw it. I'm going to cut all this footage out.
Okay, so here we go. We totally, we didn't wipe. We didn't wipe. This is not an edit. Cool. <clears throat> right. So just to give you guys some background, this is the Phantom Train from Final Fantasy VI. In the early part of Final Fantasy VI, you end up riding this train through a forest. And the Phantom Train actually delivers the dead to the next life, essentially. That's what this train is about. So it's covered in ghosts. Some of the ghosts are friendly, but I think in this fight all the ghosts are bad. And they can teleport you to different parts of the train. The goal in Final Fantasy VI was actually to get to the front of the train, but given that this is our friendly train to provide us a platform, um, it's fine. Anyway, so let's do a ready check. Okay, so it's a, just a tactic that from last time, so I'll explain it when we get there. Basically, for most of the fight, you want to avoid the ghosts, because if you get hit by a ghost, you get thrown or pulled into another part of the map. And if you were stuck inside those AoEs, then those ghosts would probably get you. Start rotating cooldowns for do the healers a favor. Okay, so that attack funnels that laser, and it seems the more people it hits, the less damage it does to each person. So it's good to line up for that. So if you're marked with this, um, stay away from the ghost, otherwise it will suck you into a, the other like, arena. I'll just throw the odd heal on myself, because why not? If it reduces the burden on the healers, then great. I'll only use my emergency cooldowns. Person disconnected. Okay, so we want to stay away from these ghosts. Once you get around them, then it's easy. Field. So far, so good. Gonna get ready to smash us. Or is it? Oh no, he changed lanes. Okay. So, what will happen now is that we'll be able to unlock a platform which will take us to the other train once we kill all these passengers. And then we have to kill the chimney. At which point, eight ghosts will be unleashed, one for each and every member of the group. Let's use my big cooldown, why not? And um, every single person has to be caught by one of the ghosts. Let's go to the other train. Remember that sprinting doesn't cost TP anymore, so sprint, sprint, sprint. And you want to kill the Doom Chimney as quickly as possible. Now, this Phantom Train from Final Fantasy VI is not technically the Doom Train. The Doom Train is a primal from, like, for example, Final Fantasy VIII. The Phantom Train is just something else. 
Um, it's it's a train. Okay, so you want to get caught by ghosts here. So you see, it caught me and it teleported me somewhere else. So I'm going to go sword off. And you have to defeat this ghost ASAP. Because if you stayed on that platform um, when everyone else teleported away, you would die instantly. Then that's it. You can teleport straight back. The second the ghost is finished. Obviously, they give the ghost really low HP because it means healers will have to DPS them as well. There we go. I made it back in time. I start rotating cooldowns again. Halfway done. Let's take some more cooldowns. In case you're new to tanking you want to know what I mean by rotating cooldowns you see I can see the timer on my cooldowns I just hit so when one goes down ideally press another and the game is balanced as such that cooldowns do tend to come back at the right time when you actually need them not all the time sometimes you have to be selective but a lot of the time, it, that is actually the case. Okay, let's line up. Let's do him a favor. I think I skipped that. Ah, no. Run, 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 run. So I'm obviously taking those flame attacks. to go. Crap, 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 crap. Almost got caught by the ghost. paying attention. It's my own fault. So I guess the off tank will have to go after it. So if you accidentally get caught, it just means you'll be away from the group for a while when they need you. Ah, oh, the off tank's dead, damn it. Shield off. I messed up the rotation. Let's do Sentinel just in case. Okay, almost there. And. Good job, team. That is a really fun fight, gotta say. So let's see what the cutscene is like at the end of this fight. That's Phantom Train done. Woo! -hoo. The 
Okay. As per usual, I tend to roll on the bolts first. Because you just need one bolt for the accessory. Go to a healer. Do, do, do. Screw it. I might just roll need on everything. Let's see if I can win. 73 for that. Need on that. Cool. So let's see if I win any item. Would be nice to win at least one. And I didn't win anything. Oh well. But it's a very short fight, so I'm not too bothered. I can just do it again. So I got play accommodation, which is good. So let's see what the story is to finish. Number one, and then we can go ahead and lock number two. Menfili, are you kidding? I mean, a fort is Menphilia. So, because like I said, this phantom train ferries the dead. Think of it like, you know, Davy Jones. Okay, so let's talk to Sid. So, thank the gods, you're fast on your feet. When I first saw you'd been facing a train of all things, I assumed I was hallucinating. But with the oddness behind us, we can f be fully certain we have the right set of data for the Sigmascape. From what we've been able to determine, this is a recreation of a devastated world. Unfortunately, we have not found any clues as to its origin. We came across several familiar terms, Doma included, but the arc of history is inconsistent with our own. Given that Omega draws from realms which could be fictional or even other dimensional, we can only guess at the source upon which the Sigma Scape is based. But it is... So if it was fictional, it seems safe to assume that the author had a bad experience with the train. Fair enough. And then this quest, next one, will unlock Sigma Scape number two. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.